What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and the other day a woke Hollywood actress said something really stupid during an interview. I know, shocking, right? Something we see every single day nowadays, right? But what this actress said was so downright blasphemous that the entire internet, every corner of the internet, came together just for one moment to relentlessly roast her. Of course, I am talking about Jennifer Lawrence and how she claimed to be the first female action star ever, the first woman to ever be a lead in a movie of all time. I remember when I was doing Hunger Games, nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie yeah. because mm -hmm. it wouldn't work. I mean, the statement was so ridiculous that I felt the need to make a video. And some people may ask, why do you need to make a video about something like this? Well, you see these people in Hollywood and in our government, they're trying to rewrite history right in front of our eyes. And we cannot let them get away with it. These people in Hollywood, every other movie that comes out, they're pretending like they're breaking new grounds or it's a historical moment. This is the first time this woman did this. And, and it's all a complete bogus lie. And they're doing it because of this woke ideology. They have to virtue signal, make you think they're holier than thou, and they're breaking new grounds with like a whole new civil rights movement. Jennifer Lawrence was the first actress to ever be an action star. Even though for decades there were female action stars before her. But what they're doing while trying to be so politically correct and they're trying to be so, I mean, the only word I could really use to describe it is woke. I know a lot of people don't like the word woke, but it perfectly encapsulates all of this like mentality and this way of thinking. But while trying to act as if they're these strong women that are setting new grounds for women, in turn, they are basically diminishing every woman that came before them that literally paved the way for Jennifer Lawrence to be in the Hunger Games. So while pretending to pave the way for women, Jennifer Lawrence erased everything that came before her. So she's not doing anything good. She's not even doing anything politically correct. What she's doing it's like I said, it's blasphemous. It's egregious. It's various words that I can hardly even pronounce and I don't really know the meaning of. It's completely idiotic. And it destroys the history that came before her, but they want you to believe this. That's why it's important for people like me to call this out. And I may start doing this more often because Hollywood really needs to get exposed. I've had it up to here. You all know that I am a big movie fan. And I've had it up to here with Hollywood and the little games they play because what they're doing, they've turned all of these movies and TV shows into political propaganda and they try to use them to sway your way of thinking. And what Jennifer Lawrence was doing right here, if allowed to go unchecked, they say these things and they know that a certain portion of the audience who watch these interviews, they believe it. They believe it. They're dumb enough to believe it or they're young enough to believe it. One of the two. So they're trying to shape people's minds into thinking that they're these activists who are, who are trendsetters and, you know, they're, they're exploring new grounds. They're, they're, making waves in our society when in reality they're doing the same thing that people have done for years, except the people who came before them didn't feel the need to constantly virtue signal about it. But now Jennifer Lawrence, after getting roasted relentlessly, now she's walking what she said back and she wants people to stop making fun of her. Let's go ahead and hop into this article. Jennifer Lawrence attempts to walk back her false claims about female action stars. That's certainly not what I meant to say at all. 
Jennifer Lawrence is receiving some serious heat from movie fans after falsely claiming that Hollywood did not have a female-led action movie until 2012's Hunger Games. Lawrence recently did a sit-down interview with actress Viola Davis for Variety and said nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie because it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. We were told girls and boys can both identify with a male lead, but boys cannot identify with a female lead. She continued, and it just makes me so happy every single time I see a movie come out that just blows through every one of those beliefs and proves that it is just a lie to keep certain people out of the movies, to keep certain people in the same positions that they've always been in. It's just amazing, amazing to watch it happen and to watch you at the helm. <sighs> so in Jennifer Lawrence's warped, woke mind, she thinks there is some type of conspiracy to keep women away from the movie theaters. When in reality, all movie makers want to do is get butts in seats and sell tickets. In fact, they've been trying to figure out a way to get more women to watch movies. That's why they keep pumping out these female-led movies. That's why when you watch Marvel, they're putting nothing but women in the movies now. They're replacing every superhero with a, a woman, you know, a woman version of that hero. They've been trying desperately, actually, to reach out to more women. It just turns out that movies are just something that, you know, everybody enjoys. And certain action movies appeal more to men than women. Just like certain rom-coms appeal more to women than men. Now, of course, women like action movies and men like rom-coms. But there's certain demographics that, you know, when... I mean, come on, let's just be honest. We know that action movies, even though women love them too, you think of men when you think of action movies. That's just natural. But there's been a constant push to get more women to watch these type of movies, not to keep them away. So after a day of backlash by film critics alike, by film fans and critics alike, Lawrence is walking back her false statement about being the first female lead in an action film. She told The Hollywood Reporter, That's certainly not what I meant to say at all, Lawrence said. I know that I'm not the only woman who has ever led an action film. What I meant to emphasize was how good it feels. And I meant that with Viola to blow past these old myths, myth, <clears throat> myths that you hear about the chatter that you would hear around that kind of thing. But it was my blunder, and it came out wrong. I had nerves talking to a living legend. So she's basically trying to act like Viola Davis. It, it, it had her so starstruck that she accidentally said that she was the first female action star ever. When in reality, she said that with the utmost confidence. And if you watch it, even Viola Davis knows that she's full of shit while she's saying it. It's funny seeing the look on their faces. But Viola Davis is no different. They're both trying to virtue signal about their movies. Listen, people are going to go to a movie if they're interested in it, regardless of who the star is and if it's a female or if it's a male. We've all grown up watching plenty of strong female characters in movies and television. I've read about strong female characters in books and in comic books. Strong female characters have always been a part of video games. They've always been a part of pop culture. So for these women nowadays to act as if they are the first ones to do something, I really find that just totally disrespectful to everyone that came, that came before them. They should be honoring the people that came before them while creating their own legacy and expanding upon that. But instead, they're pretending like nothing ever happened before them and that they're the greatest thing since sliced bread and that they're the only women to ever be in a movie ever. And she's walking back this claim, acting as if, oh, I was actually just trying to talk about how good it feels. No, 
You were not. You literally know exactly what you said, and you can't deal with the backlash because people in Hollywood, they want you to think that they're smart and sophisticated, when in reality they're mostly dumbasses that know nothing, whose lives are controlled by various other people. Half of these people can't even make their own coffee or make their own bed. So I don't really want to hear their opinions. I just want to see them in movies. So anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below because I like to hear y'all's opinions. So let me know down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I will talk to you all in the next video.